Hi everyone, I'm back with another video and today will be all about underrated videos. This is a follow-up to my uh, popular heroes in Hermes server and again this is will this will only be for Hermes server the underrated heroes in the server. Now when I mean underrated it, these this just means that these following heroes can do more than their actual usage. So their usage should actually be higher because they can do better when, than people might think. So this doesn't necessarily mean that they are OP or can easily defeat uh, popular heroes. As a matter of fact, they can do certain things that other heroes can't. They have a special niche that can make them competitive and can still work in the meta now first off is shauna this is probably if legendary is an actual tier not a self-made proclaimed tier then shauna should belong to legendary period okay i know it's insane it's an insane claim seeing her stats okay we'll just look about okay she is a beast this is probably one of the lowest and you might think I'm crazy. 108k HP. Remember, Moon has 136. Vicky has I believe 130 plus. Okay, let's just look. Because I want her to compare against uh Vicky and Vlock. Okay, her HP is 136, <laughs> same as Moon. My god, I didn't notice that, but you can see the stats is way too far from Shauna's. But I claim that Shauna should be legendary, so why is that? Because of how she works. She has humongous skill power. This is 232, more than double of Vicky's, and they have the same... Uh, skill I mean in terms of how they work they are nuker class means that they have multiple projectile and each projectile will do multiple hits so that to me is classified someone as a legit nuker so just because you deal much damage doesn't necessarily mean you're a nuker but that's only me I mean you can use that whatever you want but for me when I classify as someone as nuker that's how I define it Okay, so Shauna deals tons of damage because of that. Um, her crit rate is decent. Uh, she can deal tons of damage because of this. And despite the HP and actually the cooldown is humongous, 22 seconds, she can still work because all you have to do as a nuker is really destroy everyone. Oh, bitch. Anyway. You just have to hit your opponents, kill them as fast as you can, and job done. And she can do it probably even faster than Locke, even probably faster than Vicky, and if you're not prepared, you're gonna regret it. Just an example, there's someone that I know, not personally, uh, he is a Filipino uh, like me. And he's able to conquer top 32 out of nowhere because of his Shauna. He told me that at the last minutes of the arena cut off this week, uh, he's able to rack up some points despite not being online and attacking actively because uh, his defense are, is actually winning. So that is a total win for him. That is amazing and because not much people know how to handle Shauna and even if you do it's only limited to a few so yep if you're not prepared against Shauna prepare to die so next up uh, is Sherry which is you know you could say that she's a nuker because she can deal as much damage damage as nukers and that I believe it's true I've used her she it's rare to see someone surviving a sherry in point-blank range especially when you get hit 
by all of her laser and her stats are not bad she's tanky i know her stats uh okay let's la look at her stats she's a demon so okay don't have to click that she's a demon okay low crit rate but that's fine but that hp 169 is humongous Tax stat is 40k that's insane for an all-around legendary unit so in her normal okay that's an ea skill her normal attack is insane as well it has an arc of 90, de 90 de 180 degrees and she can do a 360 uh, normal attack as her third attack and that is cool if i can demonstrate it i don't think i can one two one two oh whatever i quit but yes her normal is great but the bad thing about her probably is that her skill goes forward so if she turns her back she can't hit the opponent so make use of her uh be wary of using her make sure that she's facing front or she's at the back most of the time because if she's in front she will most likely turn her back however if she's in the back the chances of her actually facing forward is better if your opponent actually goes in your side then most likely she will face front and then her laser can deviate it's random i don't know how it works but it can really hit for example she is in position two uh she's in position three actually she can deal damage even up to position five because of how her laser works and that is scary considering that her skill power is 232 almost no more than double of uh vicky's okay so that is amazing uh, i would just want to confirm i might be wrong okay only 217 232 is shana's okay that's it for sherry now these following two might be controversial and that is orga many people don't like orga and i understand why he dies too fast he dies something and somewhat but you can never find a melee healer anymore that is still usable what do i mean by usable is look at her her his and I clicked the wrong thing. His stats. Uh, he is a beast, so he is here. Just look at the stats. It's 150 plus. Oh, 166. 166,000 HP. And man, uh, this is tied between Zeb, Orga, and Raiga. Orga is not a unique hero, not a legendary and most especially not a guardian but has humongous hp this hp is much more than Reese. take note so he is tough but you know block and one shot orga but i have seen an orga plus 12 i know he is from extreme devils but i don't know i forgot his name but that orga survived my vlog and my vlog is powerful of course it's not plus 12 but it rarely mattered look at my roots i have skill damage up and max grit i have skill damage up and max grit i even have attack up i have skill damage attack up and max grit it survived man my jewels are almost perfect and take note i have max I have max growth in skill, crit, and attack. I also have lethal. I also have great runes, jewels rather. I have upgraded my weapon. I am using a set item. There is no excuse, but Orgo is able to survive. If someone can explain me as to why it happened, I don't know. There's probably an FG there. I don't think he is healing at that moment, but still, if it 
heals and it survives. Damn, that's still impressive. Especially Orga is blue, Flaw is green, it survived. I was impressed. So, actually, I was able to reach uh, top 32 <laughs> two weeks ago with Orga and Ciara. And I was top 20. Someone attacked me. I reached, I woke up top 18. And that's Orga plus Yara. This, the defense here. That's exact. Okay, I, I have a wrong formation. Sorry. Okay, I'm just putting it here. I This is not my final defense on the last day. I'm just putting it just to lower my rank. And seems like my rank isn't going lower. Oh, my god. Oh, I attack. I thought my defense won again. Because I don't want to win defenses. I'd rather have them attack me. I don't care. I just want to get lower. Oh, did I attack already today? I have one. But I don't think I did. Anyway. That is Orga. Can survive things. But now, Ciara. Okay. Ciara, I'm quite confident of Ciara. Because Ciara is the only hero capable of doing backflips whenever she throws her skill. I don't want to uh, demo it in arena right now because my uh, recorder crashes so I don't want to do that but the ideal skill for her now in this meta and I think this is the only way of using her if you want to get high up is OCD plus Hand of Salvation. Currently I have Fallen Ground plus uh, plus Hand of Salvation. Hand of Salvation is a must because you want to take advantage of her back flipping. And that's it. Now, Fallen Ground, while actually helps her a bit, she's still soft. Okay, look at her stats. Okay, for her time in her prime, she is actually good, considered like the future, and now still able to keep uh, her ass off to, in today's meta. That is quite impressive. Look at this stats, 107, just over Shauna's, and that's quite a gap, if I'm gonna be honest. The attack isn't even reaching... Uh, Sherry's. Sherry's got 40k as if you've seen uh, earlier but Ciara is an attack unit so why Ciara? Again it has to do with her doing backflips it can save you a lot of time and I've seen her work I know someone in Hooker this that is able to reach top 100 with her and I think he was able to reach top 50 back then, and that is with Ciara. Ciara is hard to use. It's not for everyone. But if there is someone who can make it work, and she's actually doing what, her, what she can do, what she's supposed to do, to me, she really belongs to the underrated heroes. Again, while stats do matter it's not everything she can do her part thanks to how her uh, skill nature works okay last but not the least to be honest i'm having having a hard time there's only a few heroes that can really uh be used in this meta because it's not more of the guardians but more of the triple threat triple threat Yuria Vicky Vla and to me even adding this one is questionable because the meta is still early we've been releasing uh, guardians every month so it hasn't been able to reach stability but I believe he deserves more use Hughes <laughs> Hughes deserves much use why like I've said in the previous video about uh, Guardians, he is an initiator, can't stop Yuria, and the same tier as Reese. He can't stop opponents from moving, but only a bit. But that's helpful because of Grudge. Now, his stats actually support him being good. 
and if people okay if i have a if i can turn back time i would probably have went for use and re still um or not basically one of them the thing is i want use in front and then a healer with hand of salvation at the back that's my plan but it didn't happen so i have to use freeze now but yeah i think hughes deserves much use in uh more use in hermes server it's just that with the Reese, you likely more to use Reese because that is amazing. And yeah, that's it for the underrated heroes. F now for teammates, I actually forgot to mention it. Shauna, if you don't have Vicky and Vlock, then Shauna is a perfect candidate, especially that she is fast to farm. She's available in Sealed Continent, but only in Hard, so that's kind of bummer. Hard in 1.8 and 1.7, so easy farmable. She's unique, sh so she's not that rare to get. Also, she's available in Hell, I think, here. Oh, I got it. 9 and 10, but only a few people can really do auto there. A limbs probably could help you farm. But I believe the moment that you reach there for Shana, you already have her maxed out, so yeah. For Sherry teammates, pretty much like if you have don't have Vicky or Flock, and Flock, or Flock, you can use her. In my okay, I mentioned that Sherry goes uh, her skill goes forward, so that nature is actually almost the same as Vicky's. It's just that Sherry has more reach and she can deviate her lasers to actually hit opponents from the other side so Sherry is that but Vicky is still more solid because it's focused on front of her at a limited range so yeah they have their both advantages and disadvantages it's just that Sherry can fill the position of Vicky if you don't have Vicky yet I have a Vicky but I already have Sherry even though I want Vicky at times, especially against Moon, and probably I will, Sherry does fine right now. Orga, okay, this is probably the hard one to use Orga because with the Reese meta, Orga doesn't have much place anymore, I believe. So, yeah, but I believe he is still underrated because I was able to reach top 32 pretty comfortably with Orga, so. I don't know in front I, I guess in front because I have spotlight and if if with frostbite and I proc my spotlight early then it can mess up the strategy of my opponents so to me that is still viable uh, build for Orga and for teammates uh, I have an Asiara but if you have a reason Orga I won't do that I think that doesn't work that well but perhaps it's just me but I never put them together I believe oh I did I did when I have a but that sucks so I don't want to recommend it so or if you have use uh, if you have a RAM then I can recommend or no ram can use spotlight as well probably would use huh, it's hard but orga is fine i think if you don't have a melee and you have a an offensive range unit orga fits fine because most likely if you need a two healer team orga is fine with a range healer and the other range is an offensive one that could work i think Ciara, on the other hand, is... Well, if you don't have an initiator and you need an OCD hoss, she can go in the back, she can go in the front. If you have, you're not facing Reese, she can go to the safe spot against Reese if you want to and just like make it uh, sure that... making sure that she is fine there. And Hughes, finally, 
I can recommend him with a healer at the back of him so he can protect it or so basically okay so I believe that's it and see you in the next goodbye